And today I'm going to be taking a book quiz. I found this quiz uh, just, you know, browsing around on the internet and I found a website called Book Browse and they have a quiz that says, what is your reading personality? So I figured I would take the quiz. I have not even looked at the questions yet and you guys can come along for the ride and if you want to, you can take the quiz along with me and there's a link down in the description box for you to take the quiz and answer the questions right along with me. But before we get into the quiz, I want to make sure that you know that Books for MKs is a charity that donates books to missionary kids. If you want to donate to the kids, you can do so at GoFundMe.com. Today's MK shout out goes to Abby, who is 16 years old and lives with her family in Guatemala. Abby loves to read fantasy and historical fiction and poetry. If you want to donate to her and children like her, you can do so at GoFundMe.com. And don't forget to click on that subscribe button and on the little bell. Okay, let's get straight into those book quiz questions. I've got my laptop right here with me and I'm going to sit down and start taking the quiz. And I'm ready to jump in with question one. You've got an hour to spend in the bookstore library. Where do you start? Do you bounce around from section to section browsing whatever looks good? Do you spend an hour in the bookstore in my dreams? Check out my favorite authors to see if there's anything new or chat with the bookstore staff to find out what they recommend. I think I'm going to bounce around from section to section. Question two, what do you look for when choosing a book? A book by one of my favorite authors, the next book on my to read list. I usually choose books that have been recommended to me by friends or something a bit different or unusual. I will probably choose a book by one of my favorite authors. Question three, you're in the local bookstore and you see that an author signing is scheduled for the following day. What do you do? If I happen to be passing at that time, I'll probably drop in to see what's going on. Check to see if it's one of my favorite authors. If so, I'll definitely try to go. Otherwise, probably not. It looks interesting, but the chances are I just won't have the time. I put it on my calendar and I love to go to these things even if I'm not familiar with the author. I would definitely go if it was one of my favorite authors, but other than that, I would probably not go. Question four, which of these quotes appeals to you the most? Read the best books first, or you may not have a chance to read them at all. It is the mark of an educated mind to be able to entertain a thought without accepting it. Or when I get a little money, I buy books, and if anything is left, I buy food and clothes. Or choose an author as you would a friend. I'm going to go with Aristotle, the mark of an educated mind. Question five, you've heard about a book that looks like it may be good, what do you do? I'll probably spend some time asking friends or visiting websites to see what other people think of it. I don't have a lot of time to spare, so most of my information comes from a handful of reliable sources. If it's an author I enjoyed in the past, I'll probably just buy or borrow it without any more research. I'll check it out online and try to read an excerpt or some reviews, as too often books don't live up to the hype. Um, if it's of an author I've enjoyed in the past, I'll probably just grab it. Question six, you've finished your last book, what do you do? Call up a friend and see if they've got any books they can recommend or lend me. Check around the house, there's sure to be something interesting I haven't read yet. Look up a list of books that I've been wanting to read and order one or reread my favorites until I find a new book to enjoy. I would definitely reread my favorites. Question seven, your friend's having a birthday party and you've decided to give him or her a book. What do you get them? A book by a new author that I've just discovered and maybe I can borrow it later. A current bestseller that I think will suit them. A book that's a bit out of the ordinary but I think they'll enjoy. Or a book that's part of a series that I enjoy. This one's kind of a head scratcher. I'm not really sure about this one. Um, I might do, I probably wouldn't buy them a series because some people don't want to commit to an entire series. I probably wouldn't get them a book that's out of the ordinary, but I wouldn't get them a bestseller either. Like I wouldn't get them anything too weird, but then I wouldn't get them anything that was just because it was popular. So probably a book by a new author that I've just discovered. Okay, and my result, I'm a serial reader. <laughs> you may read a lot or a little bit, either way, you're a publisher's dream because once you discover a favorite author, you stick with them and eagerly await the next in the series, but even you need to discover some new blood from time to time. Okay, that's the quiz. 
I hope you enjoyed taking that quiz along with me. Please leave me a comment down below and let me know what were your results. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe and remember the right book in the right hands at the right time can change the world.